so the next question was on uh, data interpretation now a very different question so not the uh, usual kinds that we see but it's not very difficult also if we understand what they're actually trying to say it's uh, easy so let's try out this one so what is what are they telling in this question lot of you are giving me the answer as two for this one okay the these quest the questions are based on the following data each machine can independently produce units a and produce products a and b okay so machine one capacity is given capacity required per unit of two products machine product a product b now first we have to understand what is given in the table if you understand that then solving it is easy now what are they saying see there is a machine one whose capacity is 350 okay so uh, i am assuming the capa they are given mach capacity of the machine one is 350 units now using this machine if i have to produce the product a okay i will need three units of capacity to produce product a similarly to produce one product b i will require four units of its capacity to produce that similarly i have a machine two whose capacity is 200 so out of this 200 i will need one unit capacity to produce one amount of product a or one number of product a similarly i will need two units of capacity out of this 200 to produce one unit of product b so that is what this uh, I mean this diagram represents or this table represents now look at the question so if you understand the table clearly then you will be able to solve the questions that follow let us look at the first question if 50 units of each of products a and b are produced which machine has the lowest capacity utilization now what is capacity utilization see how much capacity of the machine do i require to produce these okay that is called as capacity utilization now if you are looking at uh, machine one okay what is given here 50 units of each products of a and b is produced so i have produced 50 units of a and i have to produce 50 units of b so if i am going to use machine one to produce one unit of a how many uh, units i require how much capacity of this machine do i require i require three units of this capacity so to produce 50 units of a i will require 50 into 3 or 150 units of this total capacity similarly to produce 50 units of b how much uh, capacity of this machine will i require to produce one unit of this b product b i require four units of the total capacity so to produce 50 units of this product b totally i will require 200 units so put together to produce a and b how many units do i require uh, 200 plus 150 or 350 units of the capacity i require now the total capacity available itself is 350 units and completely this capacity i am utilizing or i am utilizing maximum capacity to produce this okay now look at the second machine what is happening in terms of the second machine to produce a right i need to produce 50 a and 50 b to produce 50 a uh, to produce one product of a i need only one unit so to produce 50 products of a i will need 50 into 1 or 50 units similarly to produce one b i need two units so to produce uh, uh, i need 100 okay so totally put together to produce these two i need 150 units of the total capacity here the total capacity is 200 out of which i have used only 150 or i can say that i have used only three-fourth of the capacity of the second machine okay i have used only three-fourth capacity of the second machine that is nothing but 150 by 200 right 150 out of 200 is nothing but three by four now similarly look at machine three so here the capacity was full capacity i have used now look at machine three uh, for product A, you will need 50 into 2, that is equal to 100. For product B, you will need 50 into 1, that is equal to 50. Or again, full capacity you are using. Here it is, total comes to 150. So, the total capacity itself is 150. So, full capacity you are using. Now, if you look at machine 4, uh, what is happening again? A will be 50 into 3, that is equal to 150. B will again be 50 into 3 that is equal to 150 so totally you will require 300 units which is again the full capacity of this machine so again full capacity so the only machine which has been uh, utilized with less capacity right as 
uh, when compared to the total capacity is machine 2. So the correct answer for this will be machine 2. So machine 2 is the machine which has the lowest capacity utilization. Next question. See what are they asking in this question? Using any one machine only to the maximum, how many total units of uh, product A and B can be produced simultaneously. So uh, for this question if you see basically what should I do I should consider any one machine okay any machine I can consider my wish and based on these options I have to check uh, using this machine maximum products uh, A and B I have to produce. So I have to see if there is an option which satisfies that okay. So what are they asking in this question? See I have to use only one machine to the maximum basically I have to use it to the full capacity and uh, I have to find out how many total units of A and B can be produced simultaneously using that machine. Now if you actually hear see this if you look at this machine 2 right if you look at machine 2 machine 2 uh, needs one unit to produce A and two units to produce B. So maximum how much can uh, machine uh, how many products of A and B can machine uh, to produce see I can maximum produce 100 units of A and 50 units of B right because 100 if to produce 100 units I need 100 into 1 plus 50 units of B 50 into 2 that is equal to 200 which is equal to the capacity of this machine. Now if I increase this 100 little bit then this will reduce right or so if I increase this uh, 100 the other value will reduce correct similarly this is the optimal case available. So the correct answer here for this one will be option 3, 150. Now see one more thing you have to see is that the machine has to be used to the maximum. So if you actually put this 50 and 100 here also what will happen? How many units will be used? You cannot produce so much. See 50 and 100 option itself you cannot produce because if it is machine 2, uh, 50, 50 plus 50 into 1 plus 100 into 2. Again it is greater than the capacity of the machine. Similarly you put 95, 5 it will not work. Now if you can check it with all the other machines also but uh, you, uh, what I would suggest is check only with machine 2 and 3 okay because why, why am I checking only with machine 2 and 3 see the answer here will come with machine 2 and we will take it as 150 but why do we check with these two machines is that if you look at machine 1 even though its capacity is higher to produce one product A it needs 3 units similarly to produce one product B it needs 4 units so definitely the number of products I produce will be less in this machine same case for this machine okay how do I select which machine is going to give me more production that is the first thing that you have to look at okay how do I look at that is if you see here the first machine capacity is 350 and to produce one product A it is using 3 units correct similarly to produce one product B it is using 4 units. So if see you cannot produce more number of A and B because the number of units that it is consuming to produce one product of A and B itself is very high correct. So if you see uh, like let us say you can you cannot produce definitely 100 if you produce 100 products of A. Okay, if I produce 100 products of A using this machine then the number of B that I produce will be very less not even close to 50 correct because I only have 50 units left and here 4 so again around 6 to 7 units of 8 units of B alone I will be producing right. So uh, that is why machine 1 will not come I hope it is clear see machine 1 and machine 4 will not come because the number of products that you can produce using them is very less because their capacity that they take for each product is high okay. So if I say that I am producing 100 units of product A using this machine means already 300 units is gone I have 50 units left now using this 50 units how many product B can I produce 50 by 4 correct or that is 48 by 4 or 12 units which is nowhere close to the other values. So this is the maximum that I can produce right somewhat like this. So this machine I am not considering similarly I am not considering this machine also for the same reason yes because based on uh, the values give, that is the number of uh, units that is required to produce one product it is very high. So I am not taking this also so we are left with these two yes you can check these two in this this will be the optimal one I just tried it out because that is the answer. Yes, you can definitely produce more than 150 with these two machines only. So you have to see if you see here also this machine also here uh, if uh, capacity is less again here you have the same ratio to 1 here also 1 2 but the thing is here capacity is less here capacity is more and you have the similar ratio. 
So that is why this will be the one. That is why I checked this directly. I eliminated these two first, saying because they are requiring more capacity, eliminated them to produce each product. Now, if I compare these two, this one has more capacity and it is having the same ratio between A and B. This one has lesser capacity and having a similar ratio. So, I checked this first because logically this should be the one which is efficient. Okay, is it clear? Uh, simultaneously means you are producing everything together. Using uh, this capacity, this 200 capacity, I am going to produce A and B. So, if I say 100 comma 50, that means that at the same time I am producing 100 units of A for which I am using uh, 100 uh, units of this capacity and I am also producing 50 units of uh, B which is using uh, 2 units of the capacity. See, uh, one thing uh, to keep in mind is the capacity here. Okay, If you see the capacity between 2 and 3, uh, capacity of 2 is higher than 3. Okay, and if you look at this uh, ratio, no, the, here it is using one units, here two units, here two and one. This seems more or less the same, right? I will produce here more of product A and less of product B. Here I will produce more of product A and and less of product B. Here I'll produce less of product A and more of product B. Correct? That's what I understand when I compare this one is to two and two is to one. But when I look at the capacity, definitely this has more capacity. So I can produce more units using two when I compare it with three. So that's why I went with 2. Next one. If cost of idle capacity is rupees 7.50 per unit, what is the total cost of idle capacity of 20 units each of product A and B are produced in rupees? See what are they saying? If cost of idle capacity is 7.50 per unit, what is the total cost of idle capacity of 20 units each of product A and B produced? So here you will have to take into consideration all the machines and using all the machines you are producing 20 units of A and 20 units of B. And uh, when you do that, what will be the total idle cost? See they have given you total idle cost, correct? So that means that you will have to consider, take into consideration all the machine. Okay, now what the question says is this. Now, uh, see, when I am using a machine, okay, see my capacity is 350 here. Okay, now I am using machine 1 to produce some uh, goods. And for producing that, I am using 200 of its capacity. So, how much capacity is left? 350 minus 200 or 150 of the capacity of this machine is left when I am doing this. Now, for this 150 capacity which I am not using or which is called as the idle capacity. See, idle capacity. Idle means sitting simply or not being utilized. Correct? So, uh, what? how much ever capacity is idle, for that there is a charge that is being incurred for each machine right so for one unit they are charging 7.50 rupees so the, for this just the case that i explained how much should will they charge 150 into 7.50 correct similarly you have to take into consideration all the machines when you are producing 20 units of a and 20 units of b okay now how will you do this A lot of you are giving me uh, uh, correct answer as 4650 i think that's the correct answer let us see uh, how to solve the question. Now, how much should we produce? We have to produce 20 units of product A and product B. Now, machine 1, to produce 20 units of product A and product B, how much uh, capacity is required? 20 into 3. To produce 20 units of A, per unit of A, 3 units is required. So, 20 into 3 plus 20 into 4. Correct? Here, per unit of B, 4 units is required for machine 1. So, 20 into 4. Similarly, if you look here, it will be 20 into 1 plus 20 into 2. This will be the capacity that is required. Okay. Similarly, 20 into 2 plus 20 into 1. Here, 20 into 3 plus 20 into 3. Now, in the examination, no point in writing this down separately. Just you can... See, 20 is the same, right, for all of these. So, you can just do it like this, no? 20 into 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3. Same thing you will get. You need not write it down in so many steps or do a mental calculation and just put in the sums and find the answer also. That's also fine. Right, you know, 20 into 3 is 60. Similarly, 20 into 4 is 80. Or 4 plus 3. Do 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 into 20. That is 140. You can do it like that also. What I am saying is, do not write steps like this. Do not waste time like that. 
Uh, either do it in the mind, some calculations, just write down the values here and add that up. Okay, so basically what I am trying to find out here is the number of units that has been utilized. All the machines put together. So the first machine I am utilizing 140. For the second machine, I am utilizing 40 plus 20, that is 60 and so on. Okay, now what is the total capacity of all the machines put together? Add this. Okay, so find the sum of this, find the sum of this. Using that, if you subtract that, you will get what is the ideal capacity or the capacity which is not used. Okay, so when you actually add all this up, you get it up to 380. You can check that. Are you getting 380? Here again 40 plus 20, that is 60. And here you will have 60 plus 60, that is 120. Okay, so when you add this up, you get it up to 380. So this 380 represents the total capacity of all the machines that has been utilized. Now, what is the capacity, to full actual capacity of the machines? 350 plus 200 plus 150 plus 300. This is the actual capacity of the machine. 350 plus 150 is 500. 500 plus 500, that is 1000. So 1000 is the total capacity of the machines. So out of this total capacities, how many capacities have I utilized for production of these items? I have only utilized 380 units. So how many units is idle? 1000 minus 380 or I can say 620 units is idle. And it is given that uh, for each unit they are charging 7 rupees 50 paise. So totally how much will be charged for 600 units? Multiply this, you will get the answer as 4650. Option 3. Okay. So all these minor calculations, please do it, do mental calculations. Do not waste time writing down these steps. I am explaining it here to you. That's why I write it down so that for those of you who did not understand the question, it will be easier. But in the examination, see to it that you do not waste your time doing all this. Because you should practice that, then only you will get it in the examination also. Doing these calculations in your mind, it has to be done as a, a like whenever you study quantitative ability or solve questions on quantitative ability, follow that. Then only you will get it during the examination. Otherwise, you will still have to write down like this and then solve. Okay? Now, next one. If you can produce product A alone with only one machine to the maximum, how many units of it can be produced? The correct answer for this is 200. So if you see actually, uh, see you can just compare the capacity of the machine and the product, no? See if I am uh, producing product A with full capacity of this machine, how many, how much product of A can I produce? 350 by 3, that is 100, some 100, right? Now if you look at uh, machine 2, okay, how many uh, A can I produce? If I am producing only A, I can produce 200 by 1 or 200 units here, correct? Now, uh, See again 350 by 3. So here I am only producing actually uh, how much will I produce? 110, 100 and uh, some value. Correct? 33 by 3 is 11. Yes, 113 maximum. This much only I can produce. If you look at this machine, 150 by 2 or I can produce only 75 units of A. If I am using this machine, I can produce only 100 units maximum. So the machine uh, through which I can produce maximum of product A is machine 2 and maximum how many can I produce? I can produce 200. So the correct answer is option 1. Okay. You needn't even find out these values just by seeing itself, you know, 35 by 3. It is 100 and something here, 200 by 1, 200. Nowhere else you get that value. Directly you should be able to take. You needn't write all this. 